Welcome back everyone. So I just realized that I haven't even picked up the camera and told you guys what the heck we're doing. Um, you guys have already probably caught on by now, but we're putting airbags under this truck and we're getting kind of set up here with what we want to do more or less. So pretty simple, straightforward. We're utilizing the factory mounts up in the front. Um, this is a piece of two by three, uh, three sixteenths wall tubing with a two inch uh, quarter wall DOM bushing with bushings in there and inner sleeve. And we're going back to the axle, and it's basically just going to be, you know, kind of how it's set up on a big rig, meaning the bag is going to sit kind of behind the axle, not really, just off, just off the back of the axle. So this bag plate here is going to sit just off the back of the axle, so that way we can still get a bolt through the bottom of it. But that's where the bag is going to sit. It's going to sit pretty much right here between you know we're going to build a little uh gusset and a plate out here and that's where it's going to sit using the same bags as we used on um on my welding rig 2.0 but nonetheless we're getting kind of things mocked up here getting things test fit i'm about to start uh tacking things here in place here real, real shortly but i figured i uh, hadn't picked up the camera yet so i was gonna show you guys what the heck we're doing but yeah pretty straightforward we're just gonna make sure that uh i Took a measurement before we took the leaf springs off that from uh, the front of the axle to center that bolt up right there. We need 27 and 3 eighths, so we're just making sure that's right. And then we're going to make sure that we got equal amount from outside of bracket or rail, I should say, or whatever you'll call it, to, uh, to hub flange. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to get everything tacked up. So because we're running a single mount in the front and not a parallel four link, the axle um, is gonna it's gonna it's gonna kind of it's not gonna travel straight It's gonna kind of roll as it comes up So also we have to make sure that the pinion is good where we want the ride height and this is basically where it's gonna ride so We're gonna make sure the pinions right where it's where it's sitting right here with the bags and then um, Also the bags are gonna have a little bit of a down on the back end that way when they come up and rest on the internal bumps in here that it's not sitting like uh, on an angle it's sitting pretty much flat or as close to it as we can when it's sitting on the uh, inner bushings. So that's the plan. Um, we've got a little work yet to do ahead of us, but nonetheless, we can get things tacked up and uh, go from there. So anyhow, we're going to get to work, see what happens. All right, everyone, so it's been a little while since the last whatever you guys saw. Um, we've just been kind of down here trying to get stuff done. I know you can't see me really well, but we got the truck back together, and we got the bed back on it, as you can see. Bed's back on and everything. And it's a little high for what we need right now, meaning we still we got a lot of gap in the fender well we didn't have before. So we'll have to adjust our, our uh, leveling valve a little bit. But anyhow there in there it's gonna be Ethan said it's a little rough but it it's it's gonna be 
no matter what because there's hardly any weight on it but once he gets uh you know weld machine on here it'll definitely be a lot better a lot better riding and everything so the more weight better it's gonna ride but overall we got the leveling valve over there i realized i didn't show you guys anything and he's got his tank welded up in here um he went and left his compressor at his house so he's gonna try to fill the tank up and then ride home without the uh without a compressor and then do that sometime this week or maybe next weekend put the compressor back on it but he's got a compressor at the house so he can he can uh fill it up if he needs to but but yeah that's gonna do it for this video i know we guys didn't show you much but they look good in there and uh like i said we will probably reroute the brake lines um it was just, just temporary we just bend them back in there and just put them in so anyhow that's it so thanks for watching everyone and uh let me know what you guys think of ethan struck here ethan what do you think bud Fat bottom girl, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, uh, those are pretty big backs for uh, for that truck, though. But like I said, once it gets more weight on there, it should ride pretty awesome. So, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next.